Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Moon Goddess Tarot, Owl here. Uh, today I'm going to do a reading for Virgo, Sun and Rising, or anywhere in your chart. Um, if you like a personal reading with me, please look at the description down below. I have an email address there that you can send me an email and I'll walk you through my website. Um, I do all types of readings, um, personal readings, uh, relationship readings question readings whatever you need I'm here for you uh, if you like to donate to the channel so I can improve uh, the channel please my uh, cash shop information is down below if um, you happen to be gross question for a Virgo you're welcome please remember that this message does not um, resonate with everybody so only take what resonates leave them the rest for somebody else and um, at the end, I'll put up some dice to see uh, <clears throat> about all the pseudo signs you might be dealing with um, to help you um, figure out if this message could be yours. Also, some numbers, also, sensitivities that you might be seeing lately, or you could be seeing in the next couple of days, along with some um, charms. All right, we're going to without further ado, let's get to the reading. So this gets started with um, a divine guidance um, card here, Virgo. Let's see what is the most important message for you here today. So you truly are an earth angel. It is time to recognize and honor the beautiful spirit that you are. Once we are incarnated, we forget who and what we truly are. Now it is time to remember, claim your wings, knowing that you really do make a difference in life that you are touch. You have many loving angelic beings with you supporting you on your divine path. Feel safe and allowing yourself to follow the path that you are guided to walk. Whatever that path might be, you are ready to spread your wings and fly. All right, our angel, it is time for you to spread those wings and fly, okay? Claim those wings, okay? Know that you really do make a difference in the life of people you touch, okay? So this is for a uh, very special earth angel out there, Virgo. Okay, it's time to spread your wings and fly. All right, our angel, let's see what other messages your spirit guides want to tell you. The angels and the Holy Spirit, okay? to have for this earth angel that is ready to spread their wings of oh, his wings all right now female this message could be for anybody out there okay number 43 could be a significant here okay So to um to four years old here and all right you don't have to Let's see. all right and we have personal power Protect. 
protection. Beautiful. And then you have your messages from this place that is good. And abundance. Okay, beautiful message here. Alright, a manifestation in the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this back, this one as well. Alright, so let's see what um what is the message here. Let me tap in. Um so I feel like um I just really guys wanna I want to let you know here is that you have this uh, personal power within you and um, and the gift of communication, the way you speak, the way you communicate with others that, um, that it's going to bring you abundance, okay? Uh, and it's time for you to step into this power, okay? And know that you are, uh, you are protected, okay, while you do this, okay? And... Um, it's like you had divine protection, okay? So you had the personal power to uh, to step into um, into your gift right now. You are ready to tap in as an angel here, okay? And spread your wings, okay? And bring the manifestation manifestation to your life that you want, okay? And I feel like um, whatever vision or whatever... Um, <clears throat> Whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in this life, uh, you are ready, Earth Angel. Okay, you are ready to spread your wings, okay? Just like this butterfly here, um, you went through already that metamorphosis of the butterfly and you're ready to spread your wings, okay? It's trying to fly, okay? And um, and I feel like uh, one of the gifts that you have is through communication towards others, okay? Just the way that you communicate, it is, it is that personal power, okay? Um, and I think uh, this could be you being a spiritual counselor towards others, uh, being a therapist, being a teacher, being a guidance. Um, we can uh, clarify that in a minute. But it's just the way that you communicate with others. They give you that personal power within you. Okay. Um, you could also, also be, uh, you could have Leo in your chart or something. Okay. With this personal power. Um this lion here is just like uh you have the the strength to um to rise above and and and, and communicate your needs what you need to do okay um to get your ideas across okay and and know that while you do that uh, you are protected okay you have that divinely protection okay from our source okay from all angelic realms okay you are being protected while you do that and know that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest by communicating your needs or your desires um uh, it's going to bring you your abundance and when i say an abundance it's not just in the money materialized but just abundance in all types of forms okay and i mean in um your happiness in your family in um in your heart desires okay you see the sun here you know and then you see the money up here yes this might bring you this might monetize in your career this might give you the money that you need to survive in the uh, 3d world like as an earth okay because we do need money to uh, support our lives but also it's going to bring you that happiness within your heart desires to move forward it's going to bring you that happiness within your family life as well it's going to bring you that that feel of uh, peace within you, okay? It's gonna bring you that abundance that you always wanted. It's that uh, hard desires within you when it comes to, I finally live in peace. I finally doing something that I like to do. I finally doing that uh, project that I vision for myself. I finally doing something I like to do that is within my heart desires, okay? So manifest at this time because you guys are saying to you, it is time to manifest. Uh, your vision because it is time for you to step into your um, into your dreams um, and then giving you the green light here okay because it is time for you to spread those wings and fly you're not longer uh, in a metamorphosis phrase it is time for you to use those wings and fly you are, you're now this beautiful butterfly who is ready to go and fly okay you have transformed you vibrating way in a different vibration and it's time for you to 
just let go and fly okay you are truly an inner angel made for something greater than um than where you at right now and you need to call your personal power back and i feel with this lion here you do uh possess that strength within you to allow this butterfly to uh fly to let go and um know that while you do this you are being protected um you are being protected by all type of uh angelic ones okay and it's, it's, it's still going to see the rewards in the end, but this is going to call you to have faith, okay? To believe that you are protected, that um, that this um, path is going to bring you abundance in all types of forms, okay? It might start small, but it's going to call you to have faith and believe that something that, like baby steps, okay, that my thoughts more is gonna grow and it's gonna grow in such a in such a uh, way that it's gonna bring you that life happiness that you always wanted. But it's that for you to manifest those dreams, okay, to uh, make a plan to move those those dreams, okay. And I'm been getting this message for you guys, Virgo, for such a long time, and you guys might be holding back uh, when it comes to your dreams, and your guys are saying no, don't hold back, you are ready, okay. I think this message just keep coming back for Virgos because uh, some of you guys are being um, are being held back uh, because you are being held up by fe uh, by fear, being held up by your ego, by trying to stay too. Um, you guys are very being very. Um, um, being very fear of tapping to the unknown, tapping on something new, okay? And your ego is telling you, no, let's stay, let's stay here, here is safe. And um, but your guys wanted to let you know, it's like tapping to unknown know, water, tap into something new, and you'll see the rewards that we have for you. We have something better for you, and it's time for you to see that once you step out into the unknown, you'll see so, so many rewards of the life we have safe for you something that we have for you is better than um you realize you just have to have faith in, in us okay you have we have something way better for you you deserve a better life and we are giving it to you but this is calling for you to have faith and i think this is where you guys are telling you um you have done the work we are go but it's time for you to have faith that um this dream um by coming in back to power okay by communicating your needs and desires and knowing that you are protected while you do this this is going to bring you abundance in your life all type of forms but it's time for you to manifest those dreams and let your, um, your guard down and step into your, the unknown because um what is out there is better than, than what you are right now and that's the download I'm getting right now. Because you truly are an earth angel, okay? You have the most beautiful heart there is. Your heart is pure, based in love. Okay. Let me clarify this with the um with this card right now. What is this personal power? is working to support in your healing work. I kind of Raphael usually works with uh, your heart chakra. So yeah, the personal power that the, um, this our angel is working, healing your heart so um, you can uh, work and step in this in your personal power, calling your, um, your power back from those people, places and things that maybe you give your personal power to, okay? Those, those people did not uh, return your... Um, the love and, and, and uh, the work you pull towards them, okay? So you are calling back the power of those people, places, and things where you put your hard work, your love, and, and, your, um, and your desires. 
So by counting your personal power back, uh, uh, Archangel uh, Raphael is helping you, healing and supporting the work you do towards that, okay? This is communication card. I know that you are very, very protected. This is too many. Too many guys. Like I said, you do have protection here, divine protection from all types of source. Let's see. Let's see here. Ay, ay, ay. You have. I'm gonna take it because it seems like you do need to hear this message, Virgo. Excuse me. Okay, so we have. Heal avoid addiction, okay? It is time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart desires. Archangel Raphael, uh, ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing, okay? So if you are dealing with addictions right now, you can ask um, Archangel Raphael as well to heal you with dealing with addictions at this time, okay? Communicate those needs to heal your addictions at this time with Archangel um, Raphael. You also are very working hand in hand with Archangel Michael, okay? She says, you're, uh, you're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting you and guiding you through this situation, okay? So if you are dealing uh, with a situation but you're not communicating your needs or desires, uh, ask Archangel Michael to help you dealing with that situation as well, okay? And then we have books. Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or setting spiritual-based books. So maybe uh, by communicating your uh, hard desires or whatever, uh, maybe you've been reading more, okay? Um, or maybe you're a writer, or you're reading, or um, a spiritual-based book, trying to gain knowledge at this time about uh, what is, how to communicate those desires, okay? And then we have mediumship, okay? You have a natural ability to connect with the part of loved ones, okay? So you definitely are very tapped into your uh, psychic abilities here, okay, when it comes to communicating here and these archangels and these ancestors are helping you with that okay that's why you have protection here okay let's see protection all right and we have parents okay the divine truth is that your parents are entirely loved you and to the best of their abilities the angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother and father i feel like um, when it comes to protection, maybe you are healing from a very um, childhood wound here, okay, which are uh, trying to hold you back from the past or you've been going all over in your head and your head about maybe some type of call or dream that uh, you thought it could, it could be yours or um, that now you're realizing it could have been uh, one of your parents' dreams or so and so or it could have been something that it happened to you as a child that you haven't completely let go and um uh and just still remorse about a situation when it comes to a parent okay but um you guys want you to let you know that your parents are definitely trying to do uh the best they can okay to the best of their abilities and your angels are trying to help you deal with that pain okay so you can move forward okay so definitely this is a childhood wound, okay? Know that you're being protected against this, okay? Power animal, okay? Your animal spirit, guys, is a guardian to you and helping you with this situation, okay? So call on your power animal. You do have a, um, uh, you could be a shaman here, which you connect with the animals, okay? And you want to let you know that your animals and spirit guides and guardians are helping you with this situation. So you, you could be very connected with the animal moms here, okay? It's just like the animal uh, world trying to communicate to you, giving you uh, signs, okay? Actually, I feel with this parent, uh, with the uh, parent, a childhood wound here, that uh, I feel that some of you could always feel like you needed to do something better than your parents should to prove a point okay here all right and maybe you just um forgot about your real dreams as a child just because you were trying to maybe do better than your parents here okay that's 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 a very specific person uh message for somebody out there okay so only take what resonates guys
write any worries or concerns or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box. Has a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you, okay? So if you have any worries or concerns, um, you can use a box, okay? Write down your concerns or worries in a piece of paper and just surrender it to the divine, okay? You can call it a God box and just uh, anything, any worry or concern that, um, that you can't control, okay? Surrender it to the divine and let your angels and, and God to handle it, okay? Let it go, okay? Do not uh, worry about it. Just let the divine handle it, okay? That way you can bring uh, this abundance to natural flow through your life, okay? If something is out of hand and you can't no longer control the situation, just um, surrender it to the divine, okay? manifestation integrity okay align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what is right for you okay so make sure that when you are trying to manifest something okay in this life uh, make sure that it is with your uh, integrity, okay? So align your actions so that they match the values and inner knowing that what is right for you. Make sure that whatever it is that um, you're trying to manifest in aligns with the actions and, and the values that you know that are right for you. In the bottom of the deck, we do have our angel here. So make sure, you know, you are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. So you come from a... a from not being alone, so whatever your actions um, and the things that you're trying to manifest, make sure they come from a place of love, okay? Because that's who you are, truly, a truly an earth angel, okay? Somebody that um, came to this earth to teach about love, okay? So whatever you're trying to manifest, make sure they come from a place of love, okay? It's a very beautiful message here we have for you, very girl. All right, well, let me see what is your um, message that your higher self wants to tell you. What is your higher self wants to tell you, Virgo? What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? Okay. Okay, then we have the expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with our relationship when they are not met. It is time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Today, so actions. Be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience a strength fulfillment. Okay? So, um, I feel like, um, what expectation do you have that are impossible to me? So, you're, if you're expecting something, um, Yeah, the expectations that we have are mostly delusion impossible to me. When we experience disappointment or self with a relation when they are not met, it is time to dispose your expectation, replace them with gratitude. Okay. So today's so action, be grateful, you are being summoned to more peace. Peace is a home for our soul and is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus on only what you can control. If you expect something and are grateful for everything, you will experience a strength fulfillment. Okay, so I feel like if you're expecting something that it is possible to me. So if you're expecting something, um from somebody place to think, okay? It is really hard for you to um to be very delusional because you don't know how that 
person plays a thing is gonna react you can't control others because of free will okay so instead do not expect anything okay and replace whatever you have with gratitude okay and then when you put yourself in that space whatever comes to you then you'll be grateful and you'll experience more fulfillment because it's like when you give something without expecting anything in return, okay? So just give love, okay? And whatever comes back to you, you'll see it with more, uh, you'll expect more gratefulness in your life. You'll live a life more fulfillment. So like you'll give without uh, trying to re receive anything back, okay? So yes, don't, um, don't expect something that is impossible to me, okay? Just, um, just give without expectations, okay? I think this is what the card is about. All right, beautiful message. All right, let's see. What is coming towards Virgo? And then let's couple of this. What is coming towards Virgo in the next couple of days? Let's see the meaning of the deck. Is coming towards Virgo in the next couple of days. Let me shuffle these. I shuffle all the cards before I started this reading, but I think Be bold and make the first move. Okay, some of you guys need to be bold, make the first move about something. We'll clarify this energy in a minute. Okay, we have emotions are running high. Super moon. Okay, I've been getting these energies a lot lately for you guys. Here we go. The energy is getting momentum. Okay, what's going on? You guys keep getting the same energies. Okay, conclusions are within reach. Okay. And step out of your comfort zone. All right, Virgo. Let's see what it is. It's about coming towards Virgo here. Let us be bold and make the first move. What do they need to be bold and make the first move about for the spirit? Faith. Have faith and all things are possible, okay? Be bold to make the first move when it comes to your faith, okay, there we go. Beautiful. Emotions are running high, super moon. Positive, okay? Look at all this all the situation with a positive perspective, okay? Be positive, okay? So um Let's see, the energy is getting momentum, waxing moon, what is this about, Holy Spirit? Love, uh-huh, you are in love. Love yourself and feel the love within your heart, okay? This angel is in love. All right, conclusions are within reach. Motivation, okay. Motivation is the key to success here. All right. And step out of your comfort zone. No, no. All right. What do we have? Enjoy. Enjoy every moment of your life. Okay. Very beautiful message here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have abundance. Be open to receive abundance, okay? So just you guys are saying that definitely whatever this is, 
it's gonna bring you abundance regardless you're gonna be very abundant Virgo very very abundant okay this earth angel is uh, destined for abundance regardless this is in your path this is in your birth right there's nothing stopping you from uh, being abundant in your life okay um do you um when be bold and make the first move Virgo this is calling you to be bold and make the food gonna have faith okay faith and all things are possible okay be bold make that move have faith everything is gonna it's gonna be possible okay be positive okay uh look at the situation with a positive perspective okay and the emotions are running high yes maybe you are having a lot of emotions but be positive have a positive mindset okay um the energy is getting momentum, waxing moon, okay? Love, love yourself and feel the love within your heart, okay? Love your uh, love yourself first, okay? Uh, so um, you can learn to love others, okay? Conclusions are within reach, okay? Motivation, motivation is the key to success, okay? Uh, stay motivated so you can learn to have faith and make that first move, okay? Enjoy, step out of the comfort zone because once you do that, you're gonna find this place of enjoyment, okay? You're going to learn to enjoy every single moment of your life, okay? And this is going to bring you abundance in your life. Be open to receive abundance. And when I talk about abundance, I mean, guys, it is not just money, okay? People actually just um, say it abundance and they just their mind goes to money. But abundance means happiness, okay? Happy families, um uh, dreams, desires, uh, whatever happened and missed to you, then in other shapes or form that doesn't always involve money, okay? See the world in a different set of lives, different perspectives, okay? Um, all right, guys, this is all your messages. If you message this and every do, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, if you like a personal reading with me, um, please send me an email. And if you'd like to donate, my cash back information is down below. Let me put out um, your dice here before I forget and your numbers. And those charms. Sometimes I forget to do those too. All right, guys. So let's see. You could be dealing with definitely an Aquarius here. A Gemini or Leo. Okay, and um, yeah, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo. That's what I see here. Gemini, Aquarius, and Leo. A right, Virgo. Yeah, that's confirmation back there. I don't know if you guys heard that. And then, the numbers you could be seeing is 12, 12. Definitely 12, 12, 12, 12. 10, 11, 8, 10. Those numbers could be significant. 3, 8. Okay, 10, uh, 3, 10. 11, 11. 7, 11. Um, 11, 12. 3, 3, 3. 4, 11. 4, 4. 4, 8. 4, 4, 4, 4. 2, 12. Okay, and the charge you might be seeing in the next couple of days that you could be seeing lately are I wonder who, who still have the Christmas tree up because this chunk is popping up. All right, Christmas tree. All right, um. Nurse, maybe you need to see a doctor. Somebody's sick. All right. Um, ballerina. Okay. Scissors. This could be like a helping hand or somebody that's coming to help you. Um, moon. Okay. Babies. And 
shoes or I don't know, feet. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They could also be seen. Uh, I don't know. They could have a child or a boy. Um, yeah, a boy. Okay. They could actually uh, be seen beers. Star. Okay. And um, we have two. This is very interesting. We have two. Um, yeah, two, three lives. I don't know if I saw that, but very interesting. Yeah, two, um, two very, um, this, this is kind of like twin flames here, okay? Two, um, two, three lives, charms. All right, guys, so this is, um, your reading. Again, it's this message resonance. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.